did it. We're home. And you guys are here too. Ah! It's really crowded in here. Maybe we should go downstairs. Yeah, that would be a good idea. But first, I think mom and dad are still... They're still, um... Where were they again, Ronan? Oh, I yeah, forgot. I think they went to the cafe to get some coffee since it's the morning. Oh, yeah, yeah that's what they did. Okay, false alarm. We can go down. Whee! Oh. So this is your house, isn't it? So this is your house, isn't it? Yeah, yes. this is your pretty, pretty much your house. Mm -hmm. Nice one thing we can change yeah. the color of it if we want. And oh. over there is a tub. And this is your a PlayStation. And this and is it. your dimension traveling thing, right? Yep. Twenty one dimensions. Cool. We used to travel dimensions. I bet we can help you in our missions. Yes, that'd be a very good idea. Actually, we did need some grown-ups to come along. I mean, it gets a little bit scary at times. And all yeah. the time when it got picked up by the plant and and with that creepy thing that kept chasing us. Siren. Yeah, the siren. <laughs> Good thing that thing's dead. That thing scares me. Still. Yeah. Okay. So. So, um, um, you know, Emmy, how you were telling everybody, well, telling me that they have a friend that may be able to fix your, um, Travel 21? Oh, yeah. I was talking about, um, oh, the, oh yeah, Sam. Yeah, Sam. Sam is really, really, really good at all these electronics and stuff. I'm sure he would be able to somehow just fix fix the thing. Wait, I think Sam's here, actually. Sam said that he was going to come over and um, help us with um, my mom's phone because she doesn't really know how to use it and she, he was going to come over and teach her. So, since he's over about to teach uh, her, maybe, yes, he'll help us with the time travel thing. I haven't told him yet, but it would be a good time. Sam, how are you? Oh, hi. Um, I'm good. Uh, I'm just going to carry my things. Sam, Sam, guess what? You have a... Wait, let me guess. You have a time-traveling portable that travels 21 dimensions, and it's broken, and now you can't back get back to their dimension, and so now you need me to fix it, huh? Oh, whoa! Have you been spying on us or something? Well, I'm not really. See, now it, it keeps on interrupting with my radio every single time. Um, you travel dimension, I hear what you're saying, hear what you're doing. And even when I unplug it, it still goes, turn it off, it still goes. Even when I smashed it with a hammer into pieces, it was still saying stuff. Wait. So your ham radio is hearing everything we're saying when we're traveling dimensions? Pretty much. Pretty much. I guess you must have, maybe, I didn't guess this, was distracting a satellite, was connecting to ham radios. My dad used the ham radio most, so it would go into a satellite the most. So maybe, this maybe through that, the satellite, maybe I could hear it with you in all my dad's ham radio, and which is not mine. Whoa! That's crazy. Yeah, and so, also bad. I tried so, to can you please it. fix this? Oh, sure. Four hours later. I think I fixed it. Come on, over here. Whoa, I remember seeing one like that, like, ten years ago. It was definitely the best one I've ever seen before. <sighs> yes, I remember seeing one exactly like that, except it was little, re 
orange button here instead. Yes, this one's so cool. See, look, it has these buttons. This is the button to go to Sydney's. Is that your name again? Yeah, Sydney. That's my name. Sydney's dimension. And then there are, and see all these tick marks on the side? You can uh, switch to each um, thing. That little uh, black dot right there shows you where it is so you can just twirl the, like if you want to put it into the dinosaur world, you put it into tick mark, and then uh, you put it into mm, tick mark 12. If you want to go into first dimension, you put, which is the one that you went to, you put it in tick mark 1. Okay? Oh, cool. I, I think I'm just going to go to my bedroom and get ready for the next mission. Okay, I'm ready. So, that's so cool. I can't wait to use this thing. And because I'm the one that knows how to use it, maybe you should let me on some of your adventures. I would love to let you. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier about it. That's okay. I've been knowing about it ever since you first. Okay, that sounds kind of like your stalker now. Mm. Okay, sorry. But, yeah. Just... Yeah, I think we should get ready for our mission.